the Ariane 6 rocket successfully launched the French military reconnaissance satellite CSO-3 into orbit on March 6, 2025, marking its first commercial mission following its inaugural flight in July 2024. The rocket carries France's CSO-3 optical military observation satellite on behalf of the French Defense Procurement Agency DGA for the Air and Space Forces Space Command, or CDE. Once deployed, the CSO-3 will enter a sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of 800 kilometers. The CSO-3 is the third and final satellite in the Composante Spatial Optique constellation, part of the multinational space-based imaging system program. The CSO-1 and CSO-2 were launched in 2018 and 2020, respectively. The satellites provide high-resolution imaging for France's military intelligence and defense operations. The French Defense Procurement Agency has delegated construction and launch oversight to the French Space Agency, or CNES, which also leads mission ground operations and system coordination. The CNES has worked closely with the Defense Procurement Agency from early stage development to final qualification. The CSO satellites were built by a Thales Alenia Space, an Airbus Defense and Space Consortium. The mission comes as French President Emmanuel Macron pushes for Europe to reduce its security reliance on the United States. At the same time, the European space industry fights to stay competitive against Elon Musk's SpaceX. David Covey Yol, head of Ariane Space, told AFP in February, the whole world is watching us. The CSO-3 is the final piece of a three-satellite constellation, following CSO-1 in 2018 and CSO-2 in 2020, both launched aboard Russia's Soyuz rocket before relations collapsed over the Ukraine war. With Russia's Soyuz no longer an option and Ariane 5 retired, Europe has scrambled to fill the gap. Ariane 6 is that answer, a launch system built for independence, efficiency, and sovereignty. General Philippe Steininger, a consultant for the CNS, told AFP, it's always better to have your own launcher and to fire it from home. Given the sensitive military nature of CSO-3, the launch site is under tight security. Three Rafale fighter jets will patrol the skies, while access to the Guiana Space Center is heavily restricted. For France, this isn't just about launching a satellite, it's about ensuring autonomous military intelligence. With ultra-high resolution images and 3D mapping, CSO-3 will give the French armed forces and policymakers direct access to critical intelligence without relying on the US or NATO allies. It is very important for the armed forces to conduct their operations and for our political authorities to make decisions in a completely sovereign manner with first-hand information that does not depend on anyone else. This satellite makes it possible to produce very accurate military maps thanks to 3D imaging. Europe's other launcher, Vega C, did not resume flights until December 2024 after being grounded for two years following an accident that resulted in the loss of two satellites. The mishap left Europe without spacecraft to launch satellites into orbit for a year following delays to the Ariane 6 rocket and lack of cooperation with Russia. It was very important for France and for Europe to regain this autonomous access to space because we cannot have a space policy today without having the means to send our satellites into space independently. What counts in these cases is to be sure that everything is secure. Like all launches, it is a risky launch. Ariane 6's success is crucial, not just for France, but for Europe's future in space. A failure would be a setback for European defense. A success, a milestone in strategic autonomy. The countdown is on. Ariane 6, Europe's new generation heavy lift launcher, is set to redefine space transportation with its modular design, cost efficiency, and high performance. Developed by Ariane Group in collaboration with ESA and CNES, it replaces Ariane 5, ensuring Europe's independent access to space. Ariane 6 comes in two powerful configurations, each designed for different mission needs. Ariane 62, equipped with two solid rocket boosters, delivers up to 4.5 tons to geostationary transfer orbit and 10.3 tons to low Earth orbit. For heavier payloads, Ariane 64 steps up. With four boosters, it can carry an impressive 11.5 tons to GTO and 21.6 tons to LEO, nearly double the capacity of Ariane 62. Towering over 60 meters, 
Ariane 6 is a heavyweight in spaceflight, tipping the scales at 900 tons, roughly one and a half Airbus A380s at liftoff. Designed for versatility, power, and efficiency, Ariane 6 is Europe's next generation solution for space access. Ariane 6 is built for maximum flexibility and is capable of launching both heavy and light payloads to multiple orbits in a single mission. It supports a wide range of applications, from Earth observation and telecommunications to meteorology, science, and navigation, making it a go-to launcher for global space missions. For smaller payloads, Ariane 6 offers rideshare options, allowing satellites under 200 kilograms to piggyback on larger missions, expanding access to space at lower costs. To enhance efficiency, ESA's Light Satellite Low Cost Launch Initiative has developed specialized adapters enabling multiple payloads to share a single launch, cutting costs while increasing opportunities for innovation in space. The decision to develop Ariane 6 was made in December 2014 at the ESA Council, marking a major step in securing Europe's independent access to space. Designed to strengthen Europe's position in the commercial launch market, Ariane 6 offers a cost-effective, high-performance solution to meet growing global demands. The European Space Agency oversees procurement and system architecture, while the space industry manages commercial operations, ensuring a streamlined and competitive launch program. With Ariane 6, Europe is set to lead the next era of space transportation, combining innovation, flexibility, and affordability. At the heart of Ariane 6 is its core stage, 32 meters tall and weighing 23 tons without fuel. It is powered by the Vulcane 2.1 engine, an upgraded version of the Ariane 5 engine. This liquid oxygen hydrogen engine generates 138 tons of thrust, steering the rocket through Earth's atmosphere. The Vulcane 2.1 sits at the bottom of the Ariane 6 core. Calling Vulcane an engine hardly does it justice. This rocket engine uses liquid oxygen and hydrogen as fuel providing more than 1,370 kilonewton of thrust. The temperatures involved in operating the Vulcan 2.1 are extreme. It feeds itself from liquid hydrogen at 253 degrees C and liquid oxygen at 183 degrees C. These liquids are heated by passing them around the combustion chamber. Supporting this are solid rocket boosters, MOAR, the P120C motors. Each booster provides a powerful 4,500 kilonewton of thrust, helping Ariane 6 break free from Earth's gravity. These boosters are shared with Vega C, reducing production costs and increasing efficiency. Once the main stage burns through its fuel, it separates, leaving the upper stage in charge. This is where the Vinci engine takes over, a restartable cryogenic engine that allows multiple burns in space. It can fire up to four times, ensuring payloads reach different orbits before safely deorbiting to prevent space debris. Adding to the innovation is the Auxiliary Propulsion Unit, a small but vital system that pressurizes fuel tanks and provides extra thrust when needed. At the top of it all is the fairing, a carbon fiber nose cone that protects the payload from extreme heat and pressure during launch. Available in 14 meter and 20 meter versions, it's built for flexibility, carrying everything from satellites to deep space missions. Ariane 6 is not just about power, it's about sustainability. The rocket's upper stage is designed to deorbit itself, ensuring it does not become space junk. To enhance competitiveness, the ESA is investing in the development of the Prometheus engine, a reusable methane-powered engine intended to reduce launch costs and bolster Ariane 6's capabilities. In summary, Ariane 6 is set to become a cornerstone of Europe's space strategy, enabling a diverse range of missions from satellite deployment to potential human spaceflight, thereby ensuring Europe's continued presence and competitiveness in the evolving space industry. Ariane 6 is set to redefine space access, offering a cost-effective, modular, and flexible solution for a range of space missions. Whether launching satellites or deep space probes, it ensures Europe stays at the forefront of space exploration.